Suppose I will ask you find five rational number. between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. This is a question they have asked in your exercise 1.1. .1. This is your third question. Third question of 1.1. .1. Find 5 rational number between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. There are two methods. You know between two rational number there lies Another rational number, if A and B are two rational number, we have learned A plus B by 2 is also rational and it's lying between A and B. But we are asked to find out five rational number. So five time we have to perform that operation. Every time you add two rational, divide by two. Again you add two rational, divide by two. So five times that much time and that much patience we don't have. So I will show you some simple method. Suppose there are five rational number you are asked to find out between three by five and four by five. Then you add one in five, so six. Five plus one is six. So you multiplied, you rationalize three by five also with six. So equivalent integer of three by five is or equivalent rational number of of 3 by 5 is 18 by 30. And equivalent rational number of 4 by 5, 4 by 5 should be converted in its equivalent form by multiplying both n and d by 6. So this is called rationalizing by 6 by 6. My fraction does not change. My rational number does not change. I will get the equivalent form of that fraction that rational number. So equivalent form of 3 by 5 is 18 by 30. And equivalent form of 4 by 5 is 24 by 30. Now you can find out 5 rational between them. 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 are between 18 by 30 and 24 by 30. So I start with 9 by 19 by 30, 20 by 30, 21 by 30, 22 by 30 and 23 by 30. These are the 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 are 19 by 30, 20 by 30, 21 by 30, 22 by 30 and 23 by 30. So, in one step we are going to find out as many as rational as you want between two rational numbers. Because between two rational numbers you know there are infinite number of rational numbers. But we want only 5. So in order to get 5, we should rationalize both n and d of given rational number by 6. One more. If you are asked 7 rational number, then you have to rationalize both rational number by 6 plus 1, 7. 7 rational number then by 8. 8 rational number then by 9. You will get exactly that many rational number between two given rational number. By this method is don't you find this method simple? Yeah. So I apply this method. Now, suppose another. Sum, that is sum number 2 of 1.1. Find 6 rational number between 3 and 4. 3 and 4 are also rational number. We, we have learned all natural number are rational number. So 6, 6 rational number to you as 1 in 6. So 7. So you express 3 in terms something by 7. So it is 21 by 7. And 4 also in terms of something by 7. So it is 28 by 7. 
I want to find out six rationals, numbers between 3 and 4. 3 is 21 by 7 and 4 is 28 by 7. So, 21 by 7 and 28 by 7 we can't take. We start after 21 by 7, it 22 by 7, 23 by 7, 24 by 7. 25 by 7, 26 by 7 and 27 by 7. You count. Are there 6 or not? Yes. So now you know how to find out rational number between two given rational number. Okay. Now the first question they have asked is, is 0 rational number? Is 0 a rational number? Question mark. Can you write in a form P by Q? Can you write it in a form P by Q? Where P and Q are integers and Q is not zero. PQ belongs to Z. Yes. Answer is yes. 0 is a rational number. Why? Because 0 can be represented as 0 by 1. Here P is 0, Q is 1, both belongs to Z, both are integer, and Q is not 0. So yes, you can write it in a form P by Q, where P is 0, Q is 1, Q is not 0. Clear? And for sum, you have to state whether the following statement are true or false and give reason for your answer. You have to check, state whether the following are true or false. First question is, every natural number Is a whole number? Yes. This statement is true statement. True ke liye to no reason is required. This is true statement because 1 is a whole number, 2 is a whole number, 3 is a whole number, every natural number is a whole number. Every whole number is not a natural number. That we have done. Just before 5 minutes. I have given all whole numbers are Natural number statement is false because 0 is a whole, whole number which is not a natural number. Second statement given is every integer is a whole number. Every integer is a whole number. No. Because no. Every whole number is a not a, this is a false statement. Why it is a false statement? Why it is a false statement? Tell me, why? Why it is a false statement? Tell me. Because minus 3 is a, is an integer. But, it is not a whole number. Okay? Clear? Now third statement given is, every rational number is a whole number. Every rational number is a whole number. Every natural number is a whole number, false statement. Yeah, it's true statement because every natural number is a whole number. Every integer is a whole number? No. It's a false statement. Now every rational number is a whole number? 
suppose statement is not true because 2 by 3 it is a false statement why it is a false statement because 2 by 3 is a rational number right but it is not a whole number not a whole number clear clear so out of three statement two are false and one is true let me check the answer from the back 1.1 1 .1. true first is true second and third is false clear and zero is a rational number all answer are correct Okay, so that complete your exercise 1.1.